From the Cape to southeastern Massachusetts, where that has got some of the heaviest snowfall, NBC10's John Maroney has an update from Lakeville. Super messy, you said it. You hit it right on the nail. I mean, you know, it is what it is. A messy day in Lakeville. The snow heavy, wet, and pasty, reducing speed on the roads and at busier intersections. There were lots of plows, including this one. Its operator clearing a church parking lot at no cost to the congregation. Right now, because the ground isn't frozen, you can clear it pretty good right down to the bottom. You know what I mean? In Plymouth, closer to the water, the precipitation was mostly rain, making for a wet day on the harbor as people with their dogs came to see the storm for themselves. Love them, except for when we lose power. So we're all hoping not to lose power tonight. We caught this woman making her way to work on Water Street, despite the nasty conditions. Well, I work at the hotel cleaning, so ever source might be in there. I don't know. Back in Lakeville, the snow continued to fall, leaving at least four inches on the ground while leaving some unimpressed. Doesn't look too bad right now. Um, I mean, it's most snow that we've gotten all year, so a lot of people are making a big deal about it. The snow is wet and heavy, and it is starting to stick. So if you're headed out to shovel tonight, be careful. In Lakeville, John Maroney, NBC10 Boston. All right, let's go to the North Shore now, where the biggest concern in coastal communities like Plum Island has been the flooding today. NBC10's Mary Marcos takes a closer look at the situation there. You never can tell. Sometimes we get two, sometimes we get ten. The North Shore coastline dodged a bullet when this storm system took a hard right. What we were going to get is not happening anymore, so I think everyone can enjoy a day off with their kids. Prompting Newburyport Public Works crews to change their strategy. We have switched from any plowing or sanding event to more of a uh, picking up branches and, and whatnot down limbs. There was no major flooding on Plum Island this time around, despite wind gusts over 30 miles per hour and an astronomical high tide. A full high tide 20 years ago is what a normal high tide looks like now. Flood waters came within about an inch of Tammy Morosky's first floor during last month's storm, damaging her crawl space. I came here before the last storm. Right where we're standing right now was all foam and the wind was probably, it, it was really, really high. This time, the storm just put on a nice show for local wave watchers. It's just beautiful, the power of it, um, and it doesn't come around too often, so when it does, I like to check it out. Now, a lot of schools in the area called off class yesterday, so schools like Newburyport, Rockport, Salem, and Beverly all had the day off. Reporting on Plum Island, Mary Marcos, NBC10 Boston.